take a moment to discuss the problem of the communists in America, or in any free society. Because it seems to be that the communists are opportunists. It's communists and socialists, they want, if they find themselves in a free society, then they see freedom as ripe for the picking. And um, they can exploit the dissatisfaction of the different groups to enable themselves to rise to power. And we've seen this time and time again throughout history. It's no secret that communism and socialism has always been a horrific disaster in every case. But of course, each group thinks they are going to be the one to make it work or the one to do it right. And it's obvious that if they lived in a communist socialist country, they probably wouldn't be organizing their little communist and socialist groups. But see, here's the thing, there are people that, you know, live in oppressive countries, but then they want to go to free countries, and they want to enjoy the freedom to, to, be, to oppress others. I think it's just a matter of their family wasn't the ruling class in the old country, so they want to come to a freedom country so they can be the rulers of the oppressive regime, regime in the new country. I said, I think we see some of that in, like I said, the European countries when they have struggles with um, some of the the Muslim immigrants. I said, obviously, they were oppressed in their country, so some of them, they move to a free country, so they would escape oppression, but then they start the same cycle of oppression to their own people and in the, in the new country. And that probably also goes along with the cycle of abuse. They say if you are abused, you are likely to become an abuser yourself. So it's probably a life pattern. And I would say the same things with these communists and socialists. They are, they should have moved on from their tactics because they can see how many times it was tried in history and was a terrible failure. But that shows that they are not really interested in social solutions for the masses. They are really interested in power and glory for themselves. They're interested in having a group to control. So that is the sad point. So we need to be, so but there is room to be concerned about the masses and the social poverty and the social situations. But frankly, I've heard that the politicians have invested interests, even the nonprofit groups have invested interests in not solving the poverty and the homeless crisis. Because if the homeless crisis, and they, and they would try to, you know, basically send the mob after people who would try to solve it. Frankly, this is, I have heard that. Because we're talking about the homeless problem in California and other places. Because these politicians and these nonprofit organizations, they make their living, their big bucks, and you don't mess with big bucks that belong that belong to them, because people are very, very tenacious about hanging on to their power and to their money. So they are not interested in solving the homeless problem or the poverty problem, and that is sad, because they should be. But that's humanity. Humanity gets greedy. And if the problems were solved, or if a working solution was made, then that would be the end of the funds into the nonprofits. That would be the end of the funds to the politicians. They couldn't run on solving poverty anymore because it would be solved. So I think that the communists and socialists, the individuals, though, or in, the, in the free countries, sort of just stem from the basic lack of a working social model. And so they think, oh, they're going to fix it by taking everybody's money and putting it together. That's not really the way to fix it. We know that. But in the absence of other proactive solutions, I think that communism and socialism tends to thrive somewhat. And as I said, I don't think the communists and socialists really want solutions to the poor, poor problems because then that would um, cut into their power. And as I've said, we, I think the solving of the, the poverty and the homeless crisis begins at getting to the root. And the root, I think, is the educational system. There is no support. There is little to no support. I have experienced that on my own. Unfortunately, fortunately, I have a family that supports me, that has helped me to stay afloat in life. But no thanks to the educational system. 
and no thanks to society, to the structure of society, and this has got to change. And the same with, um, I said, I think families need to be more responsible for family members. That's how we're going to solve getting some of these people off the street, because these people all came from somewhere. They have families, and everybody that has families should, their families should share responsibility for keeping their loved ones off the street. So there should be some rules made by that. We've got to have some family responsibility here. So in addition to reforming, to establishing clear family responsibility, I mean, just like guys have to have child care payments for children, I say families have to, you know, be responsible for their relatives and not dump their relatives on the government. If they have no relatives, then okay, then the government and the state will have to take care of them. But if they have family, the family's got to step up. And that should be the law. And then beyond that, we need the educational, we need a directed system. Yes, in an ideal world, everyone would just be able to go out and get piles of jobs and move right up. But there are different personalities, there are different circumstances, there are different barriers, and we don't have an ideal world. And so we need to search for other solutions, and the solutions are right in front of our face, but people are too lazy to look for them. So. On this channel, we are going to continue to work on solutions for fixing the social problems that nobody else seems to want to fix. And of course, it's not going to come up, the change isn't going to come about overnight. But starting the conversation is, is a very good place to start. And I think it will do a lot if we fix these social problems to eliminate the emergence of socialism and communism. And, um, improve our society. So, is it, it's a sim symptom that there's problems that need addressed, and they haven't been addressed. But, it's going to change. Alright, thank you for watching. Let freedom ring!